Hey guys, what's up? So recently I've been uh, farming some tagila when I'm bored and I just want to chill. So I thought about uh, making a video about it. So what I'm using is an Ash 12 with the PS12 B ammo, which you buy from Prepper for a lot cheaper than players, obviously. A red rig and a headset. And other than how you mod your Ash 12, if you put a suppressor or not on it, whatever grip, sights, that's your choice. You should have a flashlight on it. I use the d bell because you can have a flashlight and a laser at the same time. And this is optional, but I also bring a cheap AK with a cheap suppressor with the cheapest ammo, 38 rubles a bullet. I just shoot this at the end of the raid for uh, leveling up my recoil control. So other than the loadout, what you also need to do is basically open up your launcher and uh, in case you don't have this option, you should select when I close the launcher window, exit the launcher, when I launch the game, exit the launcher completely. This is gonna allow you to open the launcher again while you're in game and then you can switch server while you're still in game. You don't need to close the game to change the server. And then you're gonna wanna try different servers until you find kind of a dead one. You wanna aim for, like let's say I'm from EU and it's like 3.30 for me, 3.30 AM. So I wanna play on EU servers because it's like so late. If I would be playing during the day and I wanna do this farm, I would play on NA servers because it's like either late or early for them. All right, so. You want to do factory nighttime, that's why you need the flashlight. So basically, <clears throat> you need a bit of luck as well, obviously, but like, if you chose the right server, which you found from personal experience, trial and error, that is actually dead, there should be no players. And I found out, or at least it feels like, the bosses, or especially Tagilas, like I find him more often at nighttime, then daytime, because I've been playing some daytime uh, factory, just to do PvP, and I, I don't run into Tagila that much. And basically, this is where I find him the most often. Like he's gonna be sitting there behind the blue container, and if he's not here, even though usually I just listen a bit to see if I hear any, like walking or something, which I didn't hear now, then I go check. He's not here. Sometimes I wait here a bit, he might come from there or like whatever, but mostly like he should be here. If he's not here, the chances that he's anywhere else are kind of low, I found out. So since I didn't find him... I'm just gonna go loot the... Some containers for attention. I move on to this one. Let's have So my attention is not ready yet, but I'm looting one more container, basically. And obviously a factory key might be good as well. Alright, so I didn't find the gilo, now I'm just gonna extract. So now I just spam it. I guess some malfunctions, obviously. And then I run only to this place. I listen a bit. Here are some footsteps. Might be an almost job though. Even though the running is a sign of maybe Tagila. Yep, there is. And if you if you do have time to aim for the head, obviously, so you don't mess up the rig. But sometimes if you get really close to me, obviously I'm just gonna I'm gonna spray everything in his thorax. This is a pretty chill farm to do, and the runs are pretty fast. We can just go check there every time. 
And I found that his highest uh, spawn chance in this patch, 12.12, that's where he's gonna be. On night time at least. On daytime I've seen him be in other places as well, but on night time this is where I find him the most often. So, yeah. You might even get a key card or something, I haven't gotten one yet. But you get the mask. If you're lucky you get the rig, even though you might get a cheaper one, because they nerfed his loot a bit.